Well, Haitian officials say they've arrested one of the men who organized the assassination of President Jovenel Mose. Police say the 63-year-old Haitian-born suspect entered the country by private jet last month with what they call political intentions. That announcement comes as both the U.S. and Colombia send their own teams to Haiti to help in the investigation, which so far has netted 20 additional arrests. CNN's Matt Rivers is connecting us from the Haitian capital, Port-au-Prince, today and, and joins us now live. Uh, Matt, so talk to us about the arrest of this a man who arrived on a private jet. Uh, what are you hearing? Well, this is the first real update we've had on this investigation in the better part of two days when uh, these Haitian authorities gave this press conference on Sunday evening. And in part, you know, the main headline of that presser was this, this arrest of this 63-year-old Haitian-born man named Christian Emmanuel Sanon. As you say, he came here with, quote, political attentions, according to authorities. They did not really say exactly what those were. But the key takeaway was that working with a Venezuelan security firm based out of Florida, Sanon allegedly, according to authorities, helped recruit and then organize here in Haiti these 26 Colombian mercenaries and two Haitian Americans that the Haitian authorities here believe actually carried out this assassination early, uh, right around 1 a.m. or so on Wednesday morning here. They believe that he was a central figure in what happened here, organizing all of this on the ground. It's not um, when they managed to raid Sanon's home here in Haiti, they say they found uh, lots of boxes of ammunition, they found pistol and rifle holsters, they found shooting targets. So that's some of the evidence they're suggesting backs up their case. But what's unclear is, okay, is he the mastermind of all of this? Is he a Haitian citizen? What were his intentions moving forward? There still remains a lot of doubt, including in the Haitian government itself. Yesterday morning, before this press conference, I had a, con a conversation with the elections minister here in Haiti who believes that this is an inside job of sorts, that it's obvious that this isn't just some foreign plot. Here's what he had to say. I don't think mercenaries, Colombians, former Colombians military who just get in the country. It's obvious. I mean, just get in the country and kill the president. Where do they get the cars that they were driving? How do they get in the country? There's a lot of things that doesn't make sense for foreigners to just do by themselves. So I think, and we believe, they are um, mastermind behind that crime. Now, is Sanan this mastermind? We simply don't know. However, this investigation is going to go on. And I think if you ask the elections minister, he would probably tell you that he wouldn't believe that it's just one solitary person born in Haiti that helped this group of nearly 30 foreign nationals kill this president. Yes, this was a big update in this investigation, Linda, but is it over? It is nowhere close to over. No, far from over. Certainly uh, plenty of questions. Uh we need answers to Matt Rivers for us in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Thank you.